all day this has become a fantastic PBA tradition and of course James Carlos Yap the brightest star uh this at the conference and Mark Kagiwa looks like he's going to play uh, and dami nagakala na siya po hindi makakalaro sa araw na ito but maring ito ang kanyang uh, aginaldo sa million million na PBA at Hinebra fans sa kanyang uh, paglaro sa araw na ito Good day everyone, Nico Halili kasama si Jason Webb and of course we like to uh, uh, well greet everybody on behalf of ABC Sports a Merry Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody and uh, of course it's Christmas time, it's the time for giving pero I assure you sa araw na ito, iisang bagay lang ang gusto ibigay na magkabilang kotonan sa isa't isa. Ay yun ay isang talo, yun nilang gusto nilang talunin yung kalaban nila on Christmas Day. At panalo naman ang gusto nilang iregalo sa kanilang mga libo-libong taga-suporta. Ano ba ang aasahan natin mangyari sa larong ito? Our Christmas Day showdown between Hinebra and uh, Pure Foods. Unahin natin pag-usapan. Ito Pure Foods TJ Giants. Uh, coming off a win over in uh, Bacolod at pinanguna ng kanilang pinakamalaking higante James Yap. Well, of course, Pure Foods up to now is still number one in the league in terms of standings and one of the main reasons is of course James Yap. Uh, James Yap, uh, solid numbers all throughout this season. As you can see, 21 points, 4.4 rebounds. Just coming out coming out of a game from an out-of-town game in Bacolod. Kaya naman maganda-maganda yung laro niya. Dahil alam naman natin, James Yap, eto bong ilonggo yan. Ayan, hindi pinigo ni James Yap ang kanyang mga kababayan. And for this afternoon, abay ayaw din niyang biguin ang uh, napakaraming Pure Foods fans na nandito sa loob ng uh, Big Dom. May balita natin, pati yung kanyang pamilya. Uh, is going to be on hand to witness this ball game. Ngayon, uh, nakita nyo kanina, Mark Kagiwa is in uniform, although he might not be 100%. Therefore, somebody else has to step up para manalo itong Hinebra, and that somebody could be Sunday Salvacion. Uh, Sunday Salvacion in their last game against Coca-Cola in a losing effort. Eh, ito talaga yung nagdala dito sa Barangay Hinebra in the absence of Mark Kagiwa, shooting from the outside, trying to open up the lanes for his big men. Eh, kinakailangan talaga eh, isang, uh, isa pang uh, pansalba na laro ang gagawin ito si Sunday Salvacion para sa kanyang team ngayong Christmas Day. As you look at the numbers from that game, 19 and 10, but that was not enough para talunin nila ang Coca-Cola. Now, we are focusing on Sunday Salvacion dahil nga inaasahan na namin na hindi nga maglalaro ito si Mark Kagiwa who sustained an MCL injury sa tuhod po yan. No? But, Nagulat po kami lahat uh, before this ball game na nakita po namin naka-uniforme uh, si Mark the Spark Kagiwa. At para malaman mismo, ano ba ang kalagay ni Mark Kagiwa at kung siya ba nga ba ay maglalaro ngayong hapon na ito, kakausapin siya mismo ni Dominic Uy. Thank you, Miko. Kaya naman tuwan-tuwa ang buong barangay Hinebra dahil nakasutap nga itong si Mark Kagiwa. Mark, we know you should have been out for two weeks, but you're suited up today. What are the chances of you playing? Uh, it's a um, really small chance of, of me playing... Uh... I uh, just, I just want you know the the team to think that that you know I'm I'm in there with them and not behind the bench, and uh, I just want just want them to think that you know I'm not hurt, just like that. But by any chance, baka biglang bunutin ka ni coach. You, we know you're ready to play because you practiced yesterday. Well, uh, malay mo bunutin tayo. Um, maybe I could play for a little bit. You know, he, um, you never tell. I don't know what's gonna happen today, so, but I'm ready for it. All right, thank you, Mark. Good luck. Back to you guys. Well, yan na nga, ang pinaka-exactong balita kay uh, Mark Kagiwa, siya na mismo nagsabi, hindi siya sigurado kung siya po ay uh, makakalaro. Uh, he is uh, injured. No? Eh, that's a fact. No? May, may injury talaga to si Mark Kagiwa. Well, you know, those MCL sprains, they last for a while, usually a couple of weeks. Pero tingnan nga natin, itong uh, Barangay Hinebra, how do they do pag wala itong si Mark Kagiwa? Look at the numbers with Mark Kagiwa. They are a 500 team, but remember, Ito si Mark Kagiwa, kakadating lang. So, naramdaman talaga yung, uh, yung, uh, yung ito si Mark Kagiwa in the middle of that 4-4 four four record. But without him, very dismal talaga yung performance itong uh, Barangay Hinebra. They are 2-5 and five and a bad uh, record without him. Let's see how it works out if he's in uniform but might not be able to play. So, Mahalan natin, uh, Mark Kagiwa might pull off a Christmas Day surprise. At baka biglang maglaro yan. Nevertheless, it's going to be a Christmas Day showdown between Pure Foods and Hinebra. And we'll bring it a jump ball after...
in what has become an absolute uh, PBA Christmas tradition and swiftly becoming a Pinoy tradition to have a big time basketball on Christmas Day. Yan ang uh, pamaskong aginalto ng PBA sa lahat ng mga sumasampalataya sa laro ng basketball. Amen, please. Incredible uh, atmosphere inside the Big Dog dahil uh, saksakan ng puno po itong uh, Araneta Coliseum and therefore we have championship atmosphere dahil po championship itong ating uh, Christmas Day crowd uh, it has happened every year in this uh, uh, this PBA tradition that people are really really beginning to embrace uh, like you said nakakalimtaryo na and you did mention championships itong dalawang team na to they are the two teams that have held the Philippine Cup in the last three years. So they have been pretty dominant pagdating sa All-Filipino. Pasko-pasko itong dalawang kapanan. Yung Ginebra in fighting red at ang beautiful naman in immaculate white with red trim. Kaya handang-handa na para sa isang Christmas Day showdown. At hindi rin mawala yung pula dahil alam naman natin, Pasko ngayon eh. Red is the color of Christmas. Of the season. Uh, we will have uh, it's like a ceremonial uh, toss here at center court. So muli po, uh, nasa Big Dome po tayo para sa Christmas Day uh, showdown for Pure Food. They want to stay on top of the Christmas tree. Gusto nila sila yung uh, between na nandun sa tuktok ng Christmas tree sa matalang ng uh, Hinebra Day. One is to keep the status quo. They are not going to be able to leave in our lower half of the team standings. Well, for Beer Foods, they are just one win away from gaining a tie, at least a tie, for the automatic semi-files. Barangay Ginebra languishing down there near the cellar, but obviously the cellar dweller is up to this point, is well put. But Barangay Ginebra trying to make sure, if possible, to get out of that wild card scenario. Okay, uh, this ball game is now underway. Uh, the starting lineup, uh, the Christmas starting day lineup out of uh, Pure Foods, Roger Yap, James Yap in the backcourt. Ray Vang Elisa, the veteran at the small forward spot. And then you have the awesome uh, center and power forward combination of Romela Google and Kirby Ray Muto. And it's stupid who's going to be the Christmas test. Uh, he tries to shadow former uh, teammate James Yap. Ray Mundo with a rebound. Ray Mundo nearly covered by the long arms of Rebus. And it's James Yap. Trying to score the first uh, points of this ball game. Alam mo, ang crowd natin dito, parang hindi nag-antay ng alas 12 kagabi dahil ang, ang, ang lakas pa lakas pa rin ng energy nila. Ita is Roger Yap. Hand on. Adugol is grappled uh, underneath. Adugol, of course, used to be a floor. Si May katatawagan ang unang personal foul of the ball game. Christmas welcome. Para dito kay Romel Adukol from the uh, barangay na nandito ngayong uh, araw na ito. Ngayon na pala yung gumilipat na mula sa barangay. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi kasi siya humingi ng ano, permiso sa barangay captain. <laughs> now ball goes to uh, Hinebra in the early moments of this ball game. Here's Tubit. Last touch on uh, Ronald Tubit. So you can see the crowd natin dito. There is a portion of uh, TJ Giants fans out here as well as uh, maganda yung hati natin. Oh, marami, maganda yung hati natin. Siyempre na, dito yung bating barangay uh, Bundo. Rocks in the first field goal of the ball game. At hindi naman papahuli yung parokya ng Pure Boots. At dami rin yan. Dean Tamir is held for Brad. Over to Rivas. Rivas on the move. Rivas outside. Salva just. Here's Roger Yap on the move. It's a 3-0 ball game. 
Roger Yap will be hit, fires, and misses. <laughs> Pagkat tayo sa kabilang panig, here is Elton Brand. Nakatingin kay Salvasol. Salvasol, back to Elton Brand. Now some time to shoot para sa Dean Hebron. And here's Mek on the right side. Mek oh. trying to go inside. Ball na po na kay Salvasol. And he is covered by Abuko. You know, sometimes Sunday Salvasol, na masyado siyang uh, nag-re-rely uh, masyado dun sa three-point shot. Pagkakataon na yun, he drove to the basket, gets to the free-throw line, and gets another foul, and gets a foul mula kay Romela Duco. Agree. I mean, Sunday is a definitely a renowned outside artist, but he uh, pangangatawad to really have an outside-inside game. You remember the times when he was in uh, still in college? He used to be an inside and outside threat. Yang hirap hin hirap yung bantayan nung nasa NCAA sa. Three to two ball game in favor of Jersey. Really two minutes have been gone by uh, in this ball game, and it's last touch on the Giants. For these first couple of minutes, you would think that Barangay Ginebra should have the edge because this is the third game nila in 10 days. So when you look at the other side, Pure Foods, the last time they played was 10 days ago. So maybe a sharpness factor is not going to be Pure Foods. Sorry, miss. Para kay Rafi Rivas off a nice feed mula kay Ronald Tobit. One point ang labang ng Pure Foods. Over nine minutes to go in the opening quarter. And here's Raimundo against Meg. Raimundo fires. Bola na ko ni Helterbrad. Pakuha ng Ginebra dito. Helterbrad on the move. Helterbrad inside. Meg. Lots of misses early on for both teams. And actually, parang kay Ginebra eh. Wala pa nga silang field goal hanggang ngayon. Here's Roger Yap. Fall away is no good. Second, the third rebound para kay Eric Meg. Here's Rivas. Here's Kubit on the ball. Sidestep outside. Salvasor takes over the bed. Bed for three. Rivas offensive rebound. Here's Helton Brown. For three. Wala pa rin. Grabe ang ating field goal shooting thus far. Combined for both teams. One out of... 14. Masig alam ng keso de bola. Uy! Patis na sigaw. Oh! Sabi ako! Perhaps exhibiting some signs of Bunchy Buena hangover. And Romela Duco and Kirby Raimundo, the big guys of Pure Foods responsible for the only points they have on the board. Here's Meg barreling through! Oh! That was nice down. Pure Foods lead to one. Basically a down here para dito kay Eric Beck. Pero last couple of games has been picking up. But his numbers, his worst uh, ever since he entered the PBA. Yeah, 4-3. Yes, sir. Magkalong-isip pa yung bola. Parang sabi ng bola, deal ba o no deal? Eventually sabi niya, deal na, pasok na. The entrance zone for uh, James Yap, and it's a four-point lead for Pure Foods. Here's Mink. Umatake, and he will take two. Looking at the matchup nito ni Eric Mink sa Romela Ducol. Pakiramdam nito si Eric Mink. Eh. He has this quickness advantage when it comes to Romela Ducol. And that's the advantage as well when you play someone during practice. Alam mo kung anong kaya mong gawin dun sa player na yun when you do face him in a game uh, situation. Pasok ang ng free throw para kay uh, Meg. Pero nakita natin, yung sabi mo nga, parokya ng Pure Foods, eh sila rin eh, pinahihirapan rin yung mga like, free throw para sa Barangay Ginebra. Offensive rebound para sa Ginebra. That's keeping them in the ball game. With over seven minutes to go in the opening quarter. Here's Meg against Aduko. Meg on the move. Meg. But a muscle is way inside, but a whistle is blown. And that's going to be the third foul against Adugul. And he just uh, has that confidence advantage when it comes to Dito uh, Romel Adugul. And uh, Romel Adugul obviously will have to move out now. Actually, si Mark Pingris, nag-aantay na doon sa scorer's table. Gusto niya nang palitan si Romel Adugul. But uh, good job on Barangay Hinebra realizing that Adugul has two fouls and to attack him first. Mark Pingris uh, coming in uh, para palitan si Adugol 
Samantalang si Mark Makapagal is checking in to replace Ronald Tubi. Yan na tayo pinakain mo ng keso de bola na maalat. Hindi nga na sobra sa bibig ka itong si Eric. Seven and a half to go in the opening period. Score natin 8-5 in favor of your two. Bola na kay James Yap. James Yap. Where's he going? He fires. And... Players score the basket para kay James Yap. What the referee is saying, alam natin, yun yung bagong rule. Pwede mong tapikin pag nasa ibabaw ng cylinder yung bola. Ang sabi naman ng referee, nasa loob na yung bola ng Wala cylinder. Na sa nasa loob na sa loob. Eh. So fifth point para kay uh, James Yap. Five point lead para sa Sierto. It is, it is having trouble with the basketball. Fight Salvatore. So, Switch it over to Makapagal. Makapagal goes inside. Pinulak-tulak doon si uh, Mark Makapagal. Uh, that play started off with that nice pick and roll. After that pick and roll, the defense of Pure Foods had to adjust. If you move the ball quick enough, merong uh, magkakaroon ng sitwasyon na yung depensa humahabol na lang sa'yo gaya ng si James Yap dito kay Mark Nakapagal. Two out of two for uh, Mark Makapagal, and that cuts down the deficit to three with seven minutes remaining in the opening quarter. They moved on the right side. They moved on cross-court pass. Here's Roger Yap from the corner. Nick with rebound number four. Elter Brown, double team. That will leave Meg open, and he will... Oh, he gets the rebound. You know, despite the shooting roles of Vinebra, uh, what is saving them in this game is their offensive rebound. And they have done uh, good with those offensive rebounds. Nakita natin pagkatao sa mga offensive rebound nyan. This is the second time after an offensive rebound that that offensive rebounder gets to the free throw line. Problema nila yung free throw shooting nila is just at 60% at the moment. This first free throw for Davis as. Pistol Pete, Peter Jun Simon uh, checks in the ball game at uh, agad-agad bumalik itong si Ronald Tubid uh, to replace Sunday Salvasor. Uh, there was going to be a quickness uh, differential there, advantage para sa Pure Foods kaya kinailangan bumalik uh, itong si Tubid. Tayo ba muna tayo sa ating Christmas Day showdown lamang po Pure Foods 10-8 here inside a big goal. Tapos po magsimba, uh, either kagabi o kanina umaga ay uh, sama-sama pong sumugod dito sa Araneta Coliseum ang mga taga-barangay Big Dome at ang mga taga-parokya ng Pure Foods upang panoorin ang ating uh, second game sa ating Christmas Day doubleheader. Ang uh, laro po natin ngayon, laman ng Ginebra at Pure Foods. At ito ang big bonus matchup between two all-star setters Eric Nick para sa Ginebra at Herdy Raimundo para sa Pure Foods, TJ Giant. Both guys coming off excellent games on one side. Nakita natin doon si Eric Nick at a double-double 12 and 10 against Cook. Ito naman si Kirby Raimundo 10 and 14 against their last game against Air 21. Kirby has been uh, consistently doing double-doubles as his uh, numbers show. Ito naman si Eric Nick. Nabanggit nga natin eh yung numbers niya sa season na to, conference na to, worst in his career. Pero ang sabi naman ni Coach Joe Chico, mukhang nakikita niya naman nagkakaroon ng positive improvement dito six and a half remaining in the opening quarter here's James Yap hounded by Makapagal three to shoot at bola na ako ni Rivas pero cover steal by Roger Yap ito na si Raimundo Raimundo had the ay nabitawan but we did mention the good numbers of ito si Kirby Raimundo ang isa sa mga problema niya is turnovers because he averages Three and a half turnovers a game, and that ball going straight to our cameraman. 
Eh, naiwan niya itong matigil niya dito sa mga daliri ni Herb. Bakit nang iniisip mo yung pagkain, ha? Ano itong uh, busog na busog niya nitong Pasko, eh? Wes, baka pagal, ha? Ah, Swarrowed up by the defense. Giants up by two. Roger Yap. Spins. Fires. Airball. By the way, uh, Billy Mamaril has checked in here para sa Hinebra to replace Eric Beng. That's going to be a foul against Roger Yap. Looking for the number 13, Roger Yap penalty. That's the first foul. Quite Roger really a uh, penalty three situation. Three three Maradinas three three are here, Puse. They've got five on the other side. Itong uh, Hinebra, iisa pa lamang. So expect Hinebra to pound the ball down low and uh, try to get more fouls from uh, these TJ Giants. Hinebra struggling from uh, the line. Who misses mula kay Helterbrand? Only 50% as a team. That's 6 out of 12 para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Ayan, yeah, namang pa rin ang dalawa. Still food, five and a half remaining in the opening quarter. Here's Bingris, outside. Simon, here's Roger Yap. Inside, Raimundo. Four to shoot para sa pure food. Raimundo fires. Oh, oh, oh. That's a tough shot para dito kay Kirby Raimundo. Rafi Rivas did all that he could to stop that shot. Pero that's his pet pose. Once he does that shake and bake, tapos fade away. Paborito niya yan. Four points para kay Kirby. Here's Mamaril, handball, Hector Brad. Hector Brad, trying to go baseline, he fires and misses. Four-point lead para sa pure food, and... James Yap, former MVP, with a skin and roll! Man with a million moves! Ethan Hatton, on that move, the conviction of James Yap on that spin move, he wanted that basket and he got it. The man with a million moves, James Carlos Yap, unstoppable on that play. Here goes the bangko ng Ani. Binabati ko ng Merry Christmas at Advance Happy New Year. Well, they've come from uh, all over. All over uh, the archipelago, all over the world. Uh, para makisalo dito sa Christmas Day presentation ng TV. At talagang ang tagay natin dito. Sama-sama, ha? Go to the East, go to the West. Ginebra is the best. Dapat ang basa doon, go to the S, go to the West. Ginebra is the best. Oh. Ganun yun. Pero, ano, kasi nga naman eh, naku itong mga taga-barangay Big Dome, ever so loyal. Even if Ginebra is struggling uh, dito sa ating uh, Philippine Cup. You know, speaking of struggles, they have struggled from the floor. One out of nine. They've struggled from the field. Six out of twelve. Well, isipin mo eh, it's a six-point lead eh. That's not a big hole compared to how bad they are shooting dito sa ating quarter na to. Uh, both from the field and, and from the free throw line. line. Big Mama, Billy Mama Rill with two misses from the strike. What is that? Four straight misses para dito sa Barangay Ginebra. Here goes uh, holding on to a six point lead. Ball with a high three minutes. Four and a half remaining in the opening quarter. Ito, Raimundo against Rivas. Hey, Mundo, sinusuka rin itong si Rafi Rives outside, pistol peak, high looper. Wala na kay Mark Makapagal, put me to Helter Brad. Helter Brad on the move, Helter Brad will step on the brakes and now will set the offense here. 16 on the shot clock, wala na kay Makapagal, Makapagal goes baseline, has nowhere to go, outside Rives. Then on the shot clock is Helter Brad, bounce pass, Rives with a stretch and a miss. 
top defense provided by Mark Kingsley. You know, Fearful as a team, they are one of the top or the top defensive teams we have. You know, and this is what uh, a vocal addition to this team, White means a lot. Because now you have Pinkers fresh off the bench with all that energy. You combine that with the passing ability of Pepe Raimundo, that's difficult to stop. And of course, Mark Pinkers, he's one of the energy guys. You're, you're an energy guy. The last one you want coach, he's a passing as a second unit. You look at Barangay Ginebra, what they did with uh, Ronald Tubit. That, uh, and what they are doing with Paul Artadi. Kasi pag pumasok yung mga player na ganyan, alam mo, yung intensity level ng kapunan mo takes a step higher. Dahil, dahil lumalayo ang pure goal passing laro ang stupid hand courts. At yung goal na nakuha ni Raimundo quickly to Peter Jones Simon and he spins and he will score! At hindi na po papigilin ng Pure Foods dito sa opening quarter. And this quarter, Pure Foods is attacking the transition defense of Barangay Ginebra. Barangay Ginebra a step slower than Pure Foods early on. Ginebra nag-aarap ng paraan para hindi maiwan ang tuluyan dito as Helter Brand is fouled. Key guys para sa Barangay Ginebra, hindi pa na contribute para sa kanilang kumpunan. Obviously, with uh, Mark Aguiwa out, you would expect J.J. Helter Brand to have a big game or Ronald Tubid, both guys still score. Palitan ng tao dito para sa Hinebra, makapagal, and Rivas are sitting down, and J.R. Aquino, the rookie, comes in to join Tubid, Mink, Tamaril, and J.J. Heltergrad, and Hinebra, they are just atrocious from the free throw line. Anim na sunod sunod na yan para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Probably itong uh, free throw shot shooting not in the wish list for Christmas para sa Barangay Hinebra. Hindi yata na isama. As Raimundo fires, there's uh, J.R. Aquino who's been a role player here para sa Hinebra with the rebound. Paano ba babaho ng Hinebra dito in the opening quarter? Here's Ramarin. Ramarin to Aquino. Aquino goes to Mech at the post against Raimundo. That's a big bonus matchup. Mech will score. Pagkakataon na yun. Ito si Mech ang nagkaroon ng bonus mula dito kay Kirby Raimundo. Inebra looking for a guy to score. And up to this point, only Eric Mech has had a field goal so far. Simon outside Raimundo. Here's Rob Sands, another rookie. Sands with a winner! The Sands, etong si Mark Pingres, Romelo Duco, these are the guys that give pure food toughness. Especially if Sands can score, that's a bad sign on the other team. That's going to be last touch on uh, Pingres. Speaking of energy players, Kid Lightning trying to ignite uh, this moribund uh, Hinebra offense. Under two minutes to go, this is the opening quarter. Ball in the high bank, cross court, two big, two big from the corner all day to shoot. Wala pa rin. Pingris with a rebound. Pero actually, violation na dahil umabon na sa bubong ng kapitbahay yung tira ni Ronald Tubi. Baraga Hinebra has actually had some good looks in this quarter. Problema lang talaga. Hindi pa pumapasok ngayong araw na to yung mga libreng tira ngayon. Simon, 4-3. Yes, sir. And Ebra has to watch out. They have to find the antidote for their problems here in this first quarter because this lead has ballooned to 14 and their offense is, uh, they just can't find the basket. Here's Beck inside, Babaril. Yung crowd dito, Mingo, collectively, parang naririnig po, naku, free throw na lang para doon sa mga fans ng uh, Barangay Hinebra. No silent night, eh. Tahimik eh, dahil free throw na lang. Kinakabahan itong mga taga-barangay big dog. Well, that's the same feeling I got every time I went to the free throw line. Ako rin, when I was watching it. Hey, you felt happy. Ang tagal na. Huwag na nating ungkate ng... Pasko na. Oo. As Romaril gets one out of two. Ang hangarin dito ng Pure Foods ay tuluyan ang iwan ang Hinebra with a minute and 17 remaining in the opening quarter. Israel Bunto. Roger Yap, 4-3. Yes, sir! BMP! 
pass for Roger Young, but back to back for the balls for Beerful. Third three pointer balls for Beerful, that's their third on the other side. Barangay, Barangay Ginebra, they're 0 of 5 from three, three point shooting. And you would think, but I would have been in the three point shot. Open look only, Beerful is making them. And a steal by Simon. Simon against Artadi. And Simon brushes Artadi aside. And they call an offensive foul. Remember, Artadi used to play for Beerful. Pasan pasan ni Paul Artadi ang gusto ko ni PJ Simon. Went in front of him. And kanalasan hindi na higit ni PJ Simon. Na may isang player na makakahabol pa sa kanya. But we know how fast Paul Artadi is. Although kailangan ng Ginebra dito. Scoring. Not so much bonus. As makapagal at Kurtz. At wala pa rin. Really ice cold from the outside. Here's Artadi. Artadi on the move. Artadi to makapagal. Isa pa! Wala pa rin. And here's Simone. Who is on the move. And he fires. And scores! Red hot opening quarter para sa Purefoods. What a quarter para sa Purefoods. They've got 30. Ginebra's got 11. Itong Ginebra, parang natin Pasko malamig. Pero pati sila, nalalamig ngayon. Ginigilaw sa labig ng kanilang atake dito. And here's Artadi. And it takes Paul Artadi to break the ice here para sa Ginebra with 3 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. And Simon, nako may pagkakataon pa! Almost, but not quite. But what an opening quarter salvo by Pure Foods on Christmas Day showing and no mercy. Absolutely no love para sa Hinebra. Biglang iniwan ang Gene Kings dito. Ah, they score at the end of the opening quarter. 30 for Pure Foods and only 13 for Hinebra. Nakitsa nyo ng San Miguel Beer, Bale Wilson. A beer na walang katula. Back inside the big dome para sa ating Christmas Day showdown. At kanina, nag-init si Peter Jones Simon. With a TM3, sa pinsan nyo ng bagong TM discard is in. 30 pesos lang, may bagong discard nga na. 8 points para kay Peter Jones Simon and he really turned things around. That second unit, the energy that that brought in para sa pure food, sila yung kumawala para magkaroon sila ng gantong kalaking kalamangan. Welcome to the second quarter of play. As Paul Artadi misses the layup, Pinkness with the rebound. Beer Foods begins the second quarter with Roger Yap, Rob Sands, Mark Pinkness, Jonathan Salvador, and Peter Zoon Simon. Samatala itong si Artadi nagmamadali. Hand off, Salvacion, and Salvacion will score. That's a good job para dito kay Sunday Salvacion. Not to hurry that shot. He gathered him. Obviously, he was sprinting down. You gather yourself before the taking that shot. That's why he was able to make it. As we look at it, ito sabi natin, ang lamig ko, 19% from the field itong DJ Giants. Tagtag lang natin dyan, ha? Itong Ginebra from the free throw line, 39%. So itong Gearfoods, even shooting better from the field compared to the free throw shooting of Barangay Ginebra. Itong shooting ng Gearfoods, kasing tamis ng Christmas Legend Line. Ang Ginebra naman, ang kanilang field goal percentage, kasing alat ng Keso de Bola. Keso de Bola pa rin at saka Leche Flag. Alam ko lang ko rin tulad yung kagabi. Sinasabi mo na lahat. Alat ang wala kayo sweet ham. Wala. Wala sweet ham. Pero, pero. Mamaya. 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 Third quarter. Aabot tayo dyan. At saka Ensay Mada. Ayan. Ensay Mada. Problema kasi po konti lang kasi yung maasim na kinakain pag pasko eh. Ayan ba? Bawal yata sa pasko yung maasim. As James Jackson uh, at pinalipat ni Rob Sands itong si uh, Sunday Salvacion for uh, loose ball foul. By the way, pagdating po natin ang ating uh, Christmas Day officiating crew. Uh, Jan po si Bong Pascual, si Tito Balao, uh, at ang ating uh, Christmas Day Chief Justice Guy Chifere. Meantime, here's Baka Pagal. 4-3. Yes, sir! TM3 for Ginebra. Kanilang pinakaunang TM3 sa araw na ito. That's a good sign para sa Barangay Ginebra because obviously they're gonna need to open up that lane because their main weapon dito sa lineup nila ngayon. Ayan, si Eric Mecca siguro, main weapon nila. So kinakailangan marami yung mga outside shots nila. A nice move by Jordan Salvador. Everything but the girl. Meantime, here's Artadi. Artadi steps on the gas. Butik na maagaw. Ayun, tuloy na maagaw. Turn over. Here's James Yap on the move. James Yap against Makapagal. James Yap zigzagging inside. Nasa kanya pa rin ang bola. And now he loses it.
Well, Ginebra desperately looking for somebody to uh, provide points here as Makapanga will miss. Ito na naman si Simon. Simon on the move. Simon! Lost the handle. Last touch on Artadi. It seems para sa Pure Foods, every time they have a chance to run, they are going to test itong uh, transition defense ng Barangay Ginebra, especially pag nandyan si Peter Jun Simon. There's an offensive foul against Pierfoods. Si Salvador ang nahuli. Trying to create a moving wall. That's a big wall right there. Napakalapag po. Nagahabol po ang Hinebra dito. In the early moments of the second quarter, he's makapagal. Sends it over to Pamari. And now our tally against Sibo. Here's Salvador. 4-3. No go. Forced to take that quick release because he knew that si Mark Pingris was coming and that's why that shot was way off. Here's Pingris. An advantage against Salvador. Pingris. And he will miss. And he got the rebound. And he goes up. And he will score. Napakatindi naman ang binibigay nitong second unit nitong uh, Pure Foods. We spoke about what nito si PJ Simon is doing. And what about nito si Mark Bingris? He has the height advantage, gets that first attempt, but he doesn't quit on it. Nito si Mark Bingris gets his uh, fifth point. But the good thing about dito kay Mark Bingris ay apat na yung kanyang rebound. So nine minutes remaining here in the first half. At uh, patuloy pa rin ang kumamayan ni Rito ng uh, Pure Foods. In time is Artadi on the right side. Sends it over to Salvacion. Good play! Yes, sir! Tiene tres for Sunday, Salvacion. Noticeable difference from the shot before and this shot, Rito, nakita natin siya. He was able to put his feet underneath himself. Mark Pingris, masyado pang malayo, had all day to shoot. Green time is Pingris. Again, aatrasan niya itong si Salvasio. Tumulong si Makapakal. Here's Yap on the board. And he was caught dancing with the wrong pair of shoes. But you know, Barangay Hinebra was, get away, was able to get away with that because pagka-double nila kay Mark Pingris, ang dumobol, tao ni James Yap. And we know James Yap is one of the best shooters in the league. 12 points na kailangan abuli ng Hinebra. And Rivas... Yeah, that reverse layup. Basic play para dito sa Barangay Ginebra. Screen the pass. Pagkapasa na pagkapasa. Screen na ni Artadi si Mech. And that gave Mech the open lane to the pass. Well, umingin ang 30 second timeout ang Pure Foods dito. Ayaw nilang makabalik ng tuloy ng Ginebra sa labong ito with 8.06 remaining in the second quarter. Uli po, maligayang Pasko sa lahat ng aming kasalo. It is a PB on ABC as we look at the team standing. But this is what we were talking about. Pure Foods already with 11 wins. One game away from uh, at least getting a tie for an outright semi-final slot. On the other side, Barangay Hinebra, they're 6 and 9. Alam natin, isa matatanggal dyan. Apat sa ilalim, pinaka-ilalim, will go to the wild card. So now, Barangay Hinebra, if they don't put together three state wins, more than likely, malamang eh, mapunta to sa wild card. Of course, a uh, long-time PBA supporter, that's Mayor Mario Raimundo on your screens. Part of this mammoth Christmas Day crowd on hand uh, para mapanood itong laban ng Pure Foods at Ginebra. Here's Pingris, drop pass, Salvador, Salvador, nowhere to go. Five to shoot para sa Pure Foods, Artari with a steal. Get lightning on the ball, but he goes all the way, no! Wild shot, and here's Simon, counter-attack here para sa Pure Foods. Sends it over to Raimundo. 10-point ball game in the second quarter. It is James Yap. Pasa niya na agaw. Ito na naman Artani. Pinahabol ni Kami Raimundo. Artani is fouled. Yo, Paul Artani has an extra step in his uh, moves right now. Alam naman natin, Paul Artani came from Pure Foods and he's really getting a renaissance of his career now that he's with Barangay Hinebra. Seemingly wanting to prove a point na dapat mas maraming minuto ni Oho ginagamit kung nasa Pure Foods pa ako. Uh, uh, 
Uh, you know, Ineva has no problem with speed today. Their biggest problem is shooting as you look at our swimming hero, yeah, national swimming hero, Miguel Molina. Uh, also uh, watching this game, but mamaya, uh, siya po ibibigyan ng parangal ng PBA at uh, the start of the second half. Alam mo, papasisirin, papahanap yung piso. Full medal ata yan. And that's already the second time that uh, we got Miguel Molina at uh, Mitch Medal Club yeah. comes out in one side. So, thank you and congratulations to my Miguel Molina. PM Tres Naraman for James Yappe and he's in double figures with 10. At balik na naman sa labing tatlo ang kabate ng Pure Foods, 36-23. At tinulak ni John Dan Salvador, itong si Eric Meng. Second person na laban kay Salvador. Yan po ang pangatlo laban sa Pure Foods. And Artadi will sit down. Balik sa hard court si JJ Helfogra. That's a turnover. Turnover. That's only a second turnover para sa Barangay Hinebra. On the, in this quarter, Pure Foods is the one that has been throwing the, the ball away. Actually, kaya nakahabol tong Barangay Hinebra. Their defense has stepped it up and they've uh, forced Pure Foods into five turnovers. Halos na ang alahati na tayo dito sa second quarter. Yup, uh, everything but the basket. Ito na, El Turbrand, bounce pass. Aquino will score! Jay Aquino always provides quality minutes para dito sa Hinebra. And itong Hinebra, they're looking for a guy that can give them something extra without Mark Gagiwa. Itong uh, Ronald Tubit, not yet here in today's game. They need an energy guy. Obviously, Jay Aquino could fill that role. Wow! Kapaw. Pagsak doon si James Yap. Dalawang sumalubong sa kanya. Second personal against Makapagal. Ito ang nangyari siya. Ito, Mark Makapagal making sure that James Yap won't be able to get that basket. And uh, Ravi Rivas, Ravi Rivas, he's the secondary defender. Oh, the crowd showing their love for James Yap. <laughs> Basketball parlance, that is absolute respect. <laughs> you should know. I know, they, they respected me so much. Yes, I respected you a lot when you were in college. And I showed my love a lot also every time you touched the basketball. <laughs> in time, James Yap, second free throw is good. So 6 and 22 remaining in the first half. Lumang parin of pure foods, 37, 25. R.D. Larong is now in the ball game for the Pure Foods. Aquino! Maybe that is Forte there. Kamatala, yap, sinalubong ni Tubid. Here's R.D. Larong, and he will score! P.M. Press! Well, in what game? You expect itong uh, si R.D. Larong and the other side, ito si uh, J.R. Aquino, doing the same thing. They're there for defense. On one side, Aquino misses, Larong makes it on the other side. So, bonus ngayon yan para sa Pure Foods. And as a foul is called on Ardi Laro, his first person, he balik na naman sa 15 points ang abante ng Pure Foods. Hinebra nagkahanap pa rin ang paraan para makahabol sa larong ito. I want to say uh, Merry Christmas to all and hope you've been having a happy holiday and yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone watching. I just want to say thank you for all your support. Uh, it really helped us perform well and I'm really grateful for uh, everyone just cheering on us and keeping us in your prayers. Seems to have been starstruck by the <laughs> Christmas Day uh, beauty of Fiji uh, Sabiri. Uh, you know, probably just water in his eyes. <laughs> Or Florine. Florine. <laughs> Either way. In his ears. In his ears. All right. Uh, you're uh, catching a slice of this mammoth Christmas Day crowd. Almost 19,000 ang uh, nagsiksikan dito sa loob ng Big Dome para mapanood ang Christmas Day presentation ng PBA on ABC. Merry Christmas sa inyong lahat. Nico Halili alongside Jason Webb. Kasama rin natin dito, Dominic Uy. Pijas Abirin, and of course, earlier today, 
uh, you heard the voices of Richard Del Rosario and Kirito Henson, who brought you the first game earlier, Red Bull against Alaska. Alaska winning. Uh, by a big margin over Red Bull. Well, for Brad, I see RD Larong uh, locking horns on the opposite side of the court. What seems to have happened there? Parang uh, inila ni Helter Brad at si RD Larong right after Tubig made a uh, triple. And now, uh, itong Pure Foods bench, because that happened in front of the Pure Foods bench. Lahat po sila nakatayo at lahat nakatitig dito kay J.J. Helterbrand. Uh, we're obviously going to see a replay of that later on. Uh, that's on the weak side right there. Uh, kita natin doon yung box out ni uh, Ardy Larong. Eh. J.J. Helterbrand didn't take that kindly. Oh, dahil uh, may, may, may ano, extra motion. May pabaw ng konti. So, binigyan ng uh, flagrant foul penalty one itong si uh, J.J. Helterbrand. Yeah, that's tough. J.J. Helterbrand, a uh, non-entity thus far in our game. Still scoreless. But I think that J.J. Helterbrand, he only has one assist and two rebounds. On the other side, uh, Karina, nakita natin. Nakashoot na to si Ronald Tubid. So key guys, para sa Barangay Ginebra, ay eh, nawawala pa rin. Kulang na kulang pa rin ang contribution nila. Well, make no mistake about it. Uh, hindi po to Christmas Day excursion for both teams. <laughs> uh, they are here, and they mean business. They're here to win on Christmas Day. Hey, these two teams, they probably still feel bad dahil Alam nila na kagabi, gusto ko sana hintayin yung Pasko, pero may laro kami, hindi ko pwede magkuyan. Ikaw may kasalanan, Pure Foods. Ikaw ang may kasalanan, Hinebra. So they are taking it out on each other. Eh, Tubi taking it out on Ardy Larong. Pagsat na naman si Ardy Larong doon. At tuloy ang ating laro rito with 5 and 20 remaining in the second quarter. Elter Brand on the move. Elter Brand is fouled. With a busy troubling uh, display trying to uh, uh, get rid of Ardy Larong's defense. But the one thing you don't want you don't want to do to Ikai Beerfuls, Eki seeing in Etong si uh, JJ Heltegan. That might be his wake up call, but he continues to struggle from the free throw line. Already five misses para dito kay JJ Heltegan. Well, sa wakas, uh, nakakonekta ng free throw itong si J.J. Helterbrand. Malaki-laki pa rin itong kailangan na bully ng Hinebra. Score natin 41-29. Approaching the 5-minute mark of the second quarter. Helterbrand with a steal. Helterbrand on the move. He fires and misses. John got Salvador with a rebound. Quickly to R.D. Laro. Laro steps on the gas over the Yap Yap 4-3. Actually, has a two-pointer on the way, but it does not drop. Ito na, hell to Brad. 12 points ang inaabal ng Inebra. Here's Tubit. Tubit on the ball. Tubit sides up. Here it is. At uh, foul ng foul dito si Garci Ferrer. Si Kirby Raimundo tinawagan ng foul. Second person. Hey, look at this crossover that gets it free. He's got an open lane. Oop, yeah. <laughs> They have been the angle of the referee, Nico. Uh, yun, <laughs> Big break para sa para kay Ronald Tubin. Kasi yun, yung pitawan niya yung goal na sa pagkakataon na yun. Nevertheless, tinawagan ng foul si Kirby Raimundo is second. Paul Artadi is back in the ballgame para palitan si J.R. Aquino. Second free throw for Ronald Tubin. High points para kay Tubid. More importantly, she's put to sila ang inahabol dito ng Ginebra. We're under five minutes to go in the second quarter. Here's Raimundo against Rivas. Yep, nice fake. That is a gorgeous drive. But it's not completo. And now Yap is open. James Yap is wide open. Raimundo fires and misses. At ito na, takto na ang Ginebra. Kid Lightning, Mr. Fearless. Tubid on the board, and he will score! At ako, nagkatulakan pa. Tulakan pa rito, ha? At si Helter Brand, nanggigigil na dito kay Ardy Larong. 
Nang gigigil ito si JJ Helterblad Nagpapalitan na naman ang hangga salita In a technical foul has been called And the coaches are on the court And Merry Christmas to one and all Ho 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 Joy, peace and love for everybody <laughs> Somebody should revive these players huh? <laughs> It's Christmas day But you know Hardy Lauro uh, Really getting the brunt of Ginebra's frustrations in this ball game So now, uh, both teams have to be separated here because right after that basket by Ronald Tubin, eh, nagbuhol, nagkabuhol ito si Tubin at si Laro. At doon na nagsimula ang uh, Chris Kringle sa pagitan ng dalawang kupuna. You know, credit, these three guys are taking them apart. Ito, dito nagsimula yun. You look at Artie Laro. There's Artie Laro. At the bottom of the screen. Ayan, oh, nagkabuhol sila ni Ronald Tubin. Nothing really there, you know. Right here's a probably a better angle. Now look under the basket, Hardy Laro and Ronald Tubit. Ang pakaramdam ni Ronald Tubit. Para daw, ayan, sabi ni Roger Ibit, ikaw! Ikaw ang paisala! Okay, uh, ang daming giveaway nun ah. <laughs> Pero sa huli, exchange gift lang. No, just to recap. <laughs> okay, just to recap, the technical foul, Chris Kringle. Uh, binigyan po ng uh, technical foul si JJ Helterman dahil sumugod siya dun sa eksena. Uh, Ardy Lara was also given a technical foul. And then, Hinebra head coach Jong Wichigo was given a technical foul. Hindi naman nagpahuli si coach Ryan Gregorio. Siya rin ay binigyan ng technical foul. It is truly the season of giving. <laughs> At ngayon, meron tayong uh, caucus. May conference tayo dyan. And as you can see, uh, nakatalikod sa atin yan si Guy Chiferer, no, referee number 11. Yan ang ating uh, no, alam mo, Chief yung, Justice. Alam mo, yung talaga problema, Migo, pag tapos na gawin ni Santa Claus yung listahan niya. <laughs> wala na silang pang alam, who's naughty oh, and oh, nice. Oh, wala na, oh. naughty na. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> meron pa akong 365 days to go eh. Mababawi ko pa yan. <laughs> Masama pala doon sa sako ni Santa yung mga technical call at flagrant foul. Okay, action continues in what has been a hostile Christmas Day showdown with four minutes remaining in the second quarter ball and I changed ya. We have lost in all of that in that Barangay Hinebra is really making headway into this lead of uh, Beerful down, down to eight and they seem to be gaining momentum as the second quarter is going to a close. You know, kabisadong kabisado ni Artadi all the tendencies of his former teammates. Yeah, right here, kanina, nakuha na niya na ito ng offensive foul. Isa pa ulit. You know, that pesky defense by Paul Artadi really was the one that was able to get that foul mula kay Peter Jutsimon. Kita niya si Artadi on offense, hand off, Helter Brad. No. Uh, Bola na ito big, napulit ni Roger Yap. Roger Yap sends it over to Simon against Kubit. Simon spins. Another. And that will stay with Beerful. <laughs> 3 and 36 remaining in the second quarter. Lots of time to shoot. That is a beautiful. Time to level the Cinebra storm. What about now? Raimundo. On the goal. He was fouled. Actually, up to that point, Rafi Rivas has done a good job of stopping ito si Kirby Raimundo. Every time siya bumabantay kay Kirby, nahihirapan ito si... Uh, uh, si every time si Rafi ang bumabantay kay Kirby, nahihirapan si Kirby. You know, one of the ways that I think Kirby can uh, offset the length of Rafi Rivas, eh, kailangan banggain mo muna siya because uh, he is not as thick as Kirby, so you have to get him um, uh, in balance before uh, you take a shot. Patrasin mo man lang ng bote. Mm -hmm. As Raimundo goes one out of two. Although he has uh, only had five points, he has been able to give away seven assists. Although si Kirby Raimundo. Well, uh, ganun na lamang ang respeto sa kanya ng uh, Inebra defense. 
Meantime, an interception by Ron Zoriak, that's the specialty of the house. As we approach the last three minutes of the second quarter, and to the man, Rebuto against Rivas, oh, what a move by Jorge Rebuto. Yeah, that time it was a quick move, he didn't go with a lot of jab fakes at the Nabigla and Si Rafi Rivas, because Kanalasan takes about two seconds before Kirby was making a move, a move on Rafi. Meantime, here's Rivas, open, four, three, and he hits. Bola well, tina pick, napunta kay Simon. Score natin 44-33. Labang ang pure foods ng 11 puntos with under 3 minutes to go in the second quarter. Here's Simon. Spin. Hand off. Pingris! Sayang. Nice uh, move there by Pingris and Simon. Needs time here's Artani over the Tubi. Tubi against James Yap. And here's Stupid on the ball. Floater is no good. Pinkness with the rebound. And look at that screen that's in Anthony Billy Mamarir. You know, Branga Hineba really likes to use that pick and roll. And this game so far, that pick and roll on and off because the wing guys were shooters. Can't seem to make that uh, outside shot. A timeout muna tayo. Dito sa big dome with 2.08 remaining in the first half. Your food's on side. Back inside the big doll for more PBA action. At tulad ng aming inaasahan ay nandito nga sa loob ng big doll si Mrs. James Yak, the one, the only, Chris Aquino. Dala-dala ang kanilang sweet baby James. Of course, uh, ito ang kanilang pinapanood, si Gnome, James Yak. Marunong pa lang tulupan sa usapan ito si James. Sabi niya, manunood ha? ang kanyang pamilya. Dala-dala si Baby James. Nakuloy. And he's true to his life. Okay. Napahirapan sigurado siya. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes to go. It's the first half. And here's Meng. And he scores. Pinaghirapan niyo ni Eric Meng. After uh, itong uh, Barangay Hinebra, Got as close to eight points. That is their next basket. So again, Barangay Hinebra, uphill battle once again. Now a different uh, look for them than Pumato Panay to see Eric May. Simon. Here's Raymundo. Six to shoot para sa pure food. Four to shoot. Kirby naman ang titira nito. Separation and basket is good. You see that separation that we talked about. That one bump. And nawala ito si Ravi Rivas and could not go up to block his shot. You know, that was a big basket because that, that was right at the time na nagka-shot clock na shot clock hit 24. Nine points para kay Raymundo. After a minute to go in the second quarter. Artami finds Tubi. Tubi tumira ng tres. Yes sir! Tia tres! Toronto, 16th time that Barangay Hinebra has taken a three-point shot. That is the fourth make. But the good thing is, all those makes have come dito sa ating second quarter. So slowly but surely, yung mga shooter nila nakikita na ng maige ang ating ring. And uh, go look now, pero walo na lang itong uh, abante ng uh, Pure Foods, 46-38 from a high of 19 points. Magabat pa ang na ang oras dito sa second quarter. Here's Roger Yap. Inatrasan ko ang Artani. Eric Meng gets the rebound. And here's Artani on the move. Artani fires. It's good! Oh, Paul Artani is really liked it. This is the new Paul Artani. Hindi mo dati makikita yan na magja-jump stop at the top of the free throw line on a fast break with situation. He has his confidence back. Obviously, Coach Jomi Chico is also showing him a lot of confidence. And it's just a six-point ball game. And here's Simone. And, you know, Simone has been a, a thorn on Hinebra's side magmula nung siya pumasok sa larong ito. Happy ball number 16, Paul Arpani. That's his first personal. Jump lightning. Look what... He got from Santa an outside shot. <laughs> no, but you know, Artadi, that was his game when he was in UE. He really was a player who, 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 who uh, thrived on energy, and he would take the pop and stop. You know, that pop and stop, if you're that quick, if you have that shot, you're unstoppable in a fast break situation because ang mabuwabantay sa'yo, he's already on his heels, and obviously, running backwards, Running up forward, hindi mo na mahabol. Running backwards pa kayo. Oh, teka muna. Ronald Tobin and Mark Pingris. 
Sandali lang, sandali lang. Uh, bumagsak. Oy, teka. Ito, kailangan awatin. Pingris at to si Pingris, ha? Talagang uh, nagiinit ang ulo rito. Pingris, ha? This is happening in front of the Hinebra bench. And Pingris has to be restrained. Well, looking at Mark Pingris, meron mo hang uh, tinamaan siya. Doon sa napakaselang bahagi ng katawan nito si Ronald Tubid and... Uh, Ronald Tubit in the opposite end of the court. <laughs> ano ba nangyari doon? Dahil ang nakita natin, bumagsak si Pingris at si Ronald Tubit. And then when both gentlemen were <laughs> getting out of the team, ayan na, nagtuturoan na sila. The technical foul si Mark Pingris. And uh, obviously, Ronald Tubit doesn't get anything. Eto, tingnan natin. Ini Ayos tumama sa inalim yung paa. <laughs> Pagkabagsak nito si Ronald Tubid, his uh, foot flew up and that foot hit the uh, bottom part of ito si Mark Pingris. Tawag yata dun eh, accidentally hit by design. Kaya di natawa itong si ano, uh, Mark Pingris. You know, a couple of guys already carrying one technical foul each. And they have to be careful because you don't want to be uh, out of this Christmas Day game dahil lang sa mga technical fouls. Uh, Teka muna. Wait a minute. 30 second time on the 30 second time on the Ginebra dito because we have 6 seconds remaining in what has been a very interesting first half in this Christmas Day showdown between Pure Foods and Ginebra. So uh, we are hanging on. At, uh, tingnan natin kung mapakinggan natin itong huling uh, uh, plano ng uh, Hinebra. Sa Biernes, December 28, we'll be back here in the Big Dome uh, for our uh, doubleheader. Ito ang ating pre-New Year no? celebration. Santa Lucia against Wellcoat, Magnolia against Air 21. And we'll start things off with Astig PBA. Yan ang ating PBA Friday, December 28, which will be our last uh, our last PBA day for the year, 2007. And that's going to be the last shot of the first half. Tatapos sa ating first half with Pure Foods on top. 48-41. Lamang po Pure Foods laban sa Hinebra dito sa pagtatapos ng first 24 minutes of uh, play. At... Uh, Totoo niya, parang pang New Year itong ating, <laughs> ating laro. Ang sumasabi. With tempers exploding <laughs> here in the first half. Yan ang ating half-time score ng mga Pure Foods 48-41. At it's inyo na San Miguel Beer, Bell Pilsen. Ang beer na walang katula. especially itong Christmas party ng team ngayon because this is the first time that we've uh, uh, on the suggestion of uh, the Captain Ball, Kirby Raimundo and Jane Shop we made it a family affair it, it is really a nice time to spend uh, Christmas with the family so uh, talagang after basketball kasi I just go home and uh, spend time with my uh, son Ramon and my uh, daughter Isabel at uh, it's also nice for the very first time we spent our Christmas together with the children para mas masaya talaga yung pagsalubong sa Pasko. Masarap ang feeling kasi syempre, aside from nakikita lang kami sa court, pero ito yung time siguro na yun, makakilala yung mga wife namin, yun, at the same time yung mga kids nila. Kasi yung spirit of Christmas is all about the kids eh. And we're so thankful na dito kami lahat, nagsalo-salo. 
At para nga sinabi sa VTR, ang Pasko ay talagang para sa pamilya. Kaya naman ngayon, dito sa venue, nandito rin si Chris at si Baby James para supportahan si Daddy James. And on behalf of PBA and ABC Sports, we would like to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Ngayon, pagkatas ng action this Christmas Day, magkita-kita tayo ulit this Friday, dito rin sa Araneta Coliseum, December 28th. Pagkatas ng Steak PBA, maglalaban na ang Santa Lucia at Well Coast. Pagkatas naman nun, Magnolia Beverage Matters at Air 21 Express. Now guys, don't change the channel because the PBA will be right back. This portion is brought to you by the new Petron XCS Complete Combustion System. Fuel your drive. Ayan na to have lamang po ang Pure Foods 4841 laban sa Ginebra dito sa ating Christmas Day Showdown sa PB on ABC. Maligayang Pasko sa kanilang lahat. Miko Halili kasama si Jason Webb. And the way things have turned out dito sa first half, talagat namang tama natin ang Christmas spirit with five technical fouls <laughs> and one flagrant foul penalty one. <laughs> well, obviously, ito nga sabi natin, itong dalawang kapo na ito. You know, today is Christmas, but uh, they seem not to care. What's more important to them is getting that victory and uh, well, mainit pa yung ulo ng mga ito mula kagabi. Eh. Parang ganun eh. Ay, ganun nalang kamahal yung kanilang mga fans na gusto nilang magbigay na pamasukong Aguinaldo with a victory today. Pure Foods, they are looking good. Uh, they had a great first half led by their scoring apostles. Peter Jun Simon and James Yap and they sizzled in that first half. Halos nagpalitan lang ito si uh, James Yap. He was the guy that started out the scoring for their team. Obviously, he is part of that starting unit. Ang init ka agad ito si James Yap. Akala ng uh, Barangay Hinebra, pagkaupo ni James Yap eh. Naku, wala na tayong problema dahil wala si James Yap. But pagpasok nito si PJ Simon, aba, mas malaking problema pa pala because Peter Jun Simon even outscored James Yap in that first quarter. And you know, and that second unit, when that came in, para sa Pure Post, they really turned things around and gave them that big lead in that first quarter. The Pistol Pete uh, was a uh, spark on the bench really para sa Pure Foods. Uh, pagdating naman sa second quarter, humabol ang Hinebra because of Ronald Tubit. So Ronald Tubit was scoreless in the first quarter. All his 10 points actually came in that second quarter. And that second quarter, ito naman ang Barangay Hinebra ang nag-dominate nung second quarter na yan. Barangay Hinebra started to run, they started to force turnovers, and that's why they're back in the ball game. Looking at the halftime stats, Miko, kita natin yung Barangay Hina Hinebra. Unti-unti humahabol na sila sa field goal shooting because they had an atrocious uh, field goal shooting percentage in the first quarter. At ang uh, rebounds naman, field foods naman ang humahabol. Dahil kanina, sinasabi mo, Barangay Hinebra was uh, being kept alive by the rebounding. But now, Pure Foods has dominated rebounding. Obviously, with assists, uh, Pure Foods doing a better job. And this was the main uh, stats at the bottom kanina. Kanina, Barangay Hinebra couldn't shoot from the outside. Pure Foods was making everything. At pero yun, uti-uti, Hinebra humahabol na. And so, uh, magsisimula na ang second half. And if the first half was any indication of what might transpire in the next uh, two quarters, by tumutok na po kayo. <laughs> Because hindi uh, na namin alam kung ano pwede mangyari dito. So we begin the second half with Pure Foods on top, 48-41. Inebra begins the third quarter with JJ Helter, Brad, Ronald Pubit, Eric Meg, Rafi Davis, and Sunday Salvatore. And that begins the second half. What a Sunday special. Lead of Pure Foods down to four. Itong uh, Barangay Inebra, if they can get a quick run, dito sa start natin ng ating third quarter, eh, uh, itong uh, Pure Foods, eh, talaga yung lead nila, bawala na. So ano ang sabot ng Pure Foods at PM3 kanina ng Hinebra? 7 to shoot, Raimundo has the basketball. Raimundo siya natitira dito, he fires and misses. At tinulak ni Richard D.C. Salvacion off the playing court. That's a loose ball foul. Now, Kirby Raimundo has been doing everything for his team up to this point. He's got 7 points, meron siyang 6 na rebound, 7 assists. Pero sa pagkakataon yun, tumagal ng konti yung bola sa kanyang kamay. Maybe better to uh, move that ball around, especially at the start of a quarter. A minute having gone by in the third period, the uh, ball in a Helter Brand swings it over to Salvacion. Levis, ibabalik kay Helter Brand. Helter Brand on the ball, he's setting up Salvacion. 4-3! Sobra! Kapiga ng bola, Levis gets it over to Helter Brand. Bagong shot lock para sa Hinebra. Ayun, that's a big rebound, Nico, dahil tatlong malalaki ang nilagay ng Pure Foods, pero sila pa rin nakakuha ng offensive rebound. That is just a sweet <laughs> move from James Yap. 
hindi nagmadali, no? It wasn't a fast break situation. He used the over-aggressiveness of Ronald Tubit to his advantage. Elterbrad, 4-3, yes sir! He had pressed for JJ Elterbrad, and don't look now, it's just a three-point ball game. Pero pang limang puntos pa lang yun, eh, JJ Elterbrad sa larong ito. On the floor for Pure Foods, yeah, James Yabritsu, D. Gregory Mundo, Romelu Dugal, and Roger. Yeah. Things on the upswing para sa Barangay Never. Shots are going in for their team. Kita natin at the end of that quarter, the second quarter, they played excellent defense. They're starting to make headway in this game, and the key players are starting to contribute. Meantime, tinawagan ng first personal foul si Ronald Tubit, first team foul laban sa Hinebra. Two minutes having gone by in the third quarter, Richard, he picks up the loose ball over to Raymundo, Raymundo. And now James up with the basketball being outed by Ronald Tubit, two to shoot, kitira na si James, yeah, and the violation. Shot clock violation laban sa Q4. Itong Barangay Hinebra, kanina pa natin napapansin. Quick hands in today's ball game. Itong uh, bola really getting away from the hands of a lot of few first players. Gusto na sanang gulati ni Eric Neglat nung uh, bumabantay. But he missed it. And here's Roger Yap. Here's the layup as well. Tulakan sa loob. Romel Aduko tatawagan ng loose ball foul. At sa itatawagan ng technical foul. We might say that's a quick whistle, pero nakita natin at the start of this quarter, miniting na ng mga referee, ang mga players, and they wanted to make sure that they control the situation. At ito, naging victim na ngayon, ito si Romel Adukul. Oh, Napapakitin na lang si Adukul, but yes, he has been tagged with the game's sixth technical foul. Anim na lang, meron na tayong the 12 technicals of Christmas. <laughs> One flaking foul. <laughs> Iba yung iniipon natin dito ah. <laughs> okay, back to the ball game. And here's Tubid. And out of Salvacion on the left side. Sends it over to Mink. Mink pull up is good! Marina pa siya sumusubok dyan sa labas. Hindi po abasok, pero ito na. Pumatas na itong Barangay Hinebra sa Pure Food. We're tied at 50. Ito ang ating kauna-unang deadlock of this ball game. Here's Richard D in a crucial position and an iceberg, but he missed it. But he will have two free throws. Alam mo, sayang naman para sa Pure Foods yung matchup na yun kung hindi nila gagamitin. Nagpasok sila ng tatlong malalaki. And Richard D is being guarded by Sunday Salvacion. Mayor Richard D may have enough moves para dito kay Sunday Salvacion with his height that close to the basket. Richard Hay did not see action in the entire first half. And Ryan Gregory brings him in for added muscle inside. A so far lifetime member of Pure Foods. Pareho sila ni Ray Evangelista. Two out of two. And Nico is actually in the ball game to preserve some fouls para kay Romel Adukul at uh, of course to get Kirby Raimundo away also mula kay dito kay uh, Eric Meng dahil alam natin Romel Adukul apat na yung foul pero siya pa rin ang bumabantay dito sa ngayon kay Meng Here foods on top by 2 52-50 Here's Hilterbrand Meng from the corner It's going to be a loose ball foul against Rafi Rivas. Alam mo, mali yung uh, nakita natin doon kanina. Yung may third personal foul, uh, second personal si Romela Ducol in the first quarter. Inataki ka agad nila sa ilalim. Ngayong pagkakataon na to, apat si Romela Ducol, Eric Mack deciding to shoot from the outside. Good point. Need time here is he. He still has the basketball and that's his quick move. You know, he likes that move, that quick move, but he would rather be on the other side of the basket using his right hand to spin that way. But, uh, alam mo si Richard G, really yung strong hand niya, yung right Kaya, side. Kaya kanina, kinilangan pa niyang tumukot. Ito kay Salvation. That's an offensive foul. Meantime, here's Tobin against Yap. Warrior against Red Warrior. And Tobin will this ferocious battle for the rebound. And it's going to be a loose ball foul against Tinebra. 
The true warrior gets the ball. <laughs> no, no, too bad. Uh, really living out yung, uh, niya, yung uh, passion niya. Raimundo, he wants that basketball with 15 on the shot clock. In a bit, okay, James Yap, first three. Raimundo with a rebound, and the putback is no good. Rivas gets the basketball, so by Papa, para kay Helter Brad, pero kapit na kay Tubit. Tubit has the ball, and Tubit was thinking about that three-point shot, pero inintay na lang niya yung kanyang mga kasama. They go inside, Mink, Mink, fire, squares! Yan yung pinabanggit natin kanina, ang pagkakaiba nung pag-iatake nila si Adukul sa ilalim. Obviously, Romel does not want to commit that fifth foul this early in the third quarter. Pabla na naman tayo, 52, 7 and 27 to go. Outside shot, Adukul, and now Inebra looking for the go-ahead. Down by as many as 19 points, and Salvasor will give him up now. It's first taste of the lead on Christmas Day. So it's 7 and 16 to go. Natik pa na rin sa wangas ng Hinebra. Kalabangan sa larong ito. 54-52 ang ating score. Mink tied the game with that basket against Adugol. And then Sunday Salvacion pushes Hinebra ahead with that layup. Hinebra ball labang 54-52 as we enter this timeout. Harap natin ang ating uh, Pure Foods DJ Hot Dog Fan Bite. Ibig sabihin yung cutest PBA fan in the house. But uh, ito, ang dami kasing tao rito kaya hirap magharap eh. Halos 19,000 fans na nandito sa Big Dome. At ito ang ating nahanap. Ah, uh, ang ating Pure Foods DJ Hot Dog Fan Bite brought to you by Pure Foods DJ Hot Dog. Kids can tell. Ano pala ito eh, mga anak ni Coach Ryan, si Isabel and Ramon Gregorio. Siguro natin ang Pure Foods kinakain. All I can say is, uh, thank God they look like the mother. <laughs> Ayan, halos 19,000 ang sumugod uh, dito sa Big Dome. Mapataga Barangay Big Dome, Mapataga Pure Foods, uh, parokya ng Pure Foods. It doesn't matter, they're all here to celebrate Christmas with the PBA. You know, they're getting a treat ngayong uh, Pasko na ito. Akala nila, ang mga regalo na tapos na kaapot. Itong laro na ito, parang regalo na rin sa kanila. Dahil ang ganda ng laro natin ngayong araw na ito. Okay, meantime, there's a foul. It's going to go against Tubid. Only foul against Tubid. Pangatlo na against Ronald Tubid. At yan po ang panglima. Uh, laban sa Hinebra. So Hinebra's had a good quarter. That may be the one thing that is not going their way sa quarter na ito. As we, hindi napansin ni Ronald Tubid na padating na yung bola. Alos na ang lahat na tayo dito sa third quarter. And we're tied at 54. At sa mga palang natikman ng Hinebra ang kalamangan. Pita ni Shelter Brad. And that's a near steal. Tubid over to Makapagal. Open shot! Mago! Previous offensive rebound, Kumi hit, Kumira, and he scores! 7th rebound para dito kay Rafi Rivas. Pero nung pagkakataon yun, makita mo, Miko talaga, yung haba ni Rafi Rivas kumpira doon sa ibang mga big man on the court. In time, here's Yap, hounded by Makapagal. Call up the scoreboard. Nakapo, tatlo ang taga-Hinebra nag-agawa na kung tatulog yung Ingris. And here's Simon, and he is fouled. Only power number four, Rafi Rivas. Nakinawa ka ni Rivas itong si Simon. Ito na humingi ng dispensa. Okay, si Simon. Third personal laban kay Rafi Rivas. Sending Pistol Peak to the free throw line. And the first is... And Artadi is back in the ball game para palitan si Ronald Tubu. Loose ball foul against Hinebra. Great effort there by Mark Pinkris. That's the second foul. But we did mention that uh, Marga Hinebra entered the penalty early. Ito, nakikita na natin. Uh, Pure Foods getting to the line because of that penalty situation. Loose ball fouls, they go to the line. Question now, is Pure Foods going to be able to make their free throws? 
O Pingris makes his first. At ito ang ating Revy Godforte. Lakas na hindi umaayaw. Moment. At insan nyo ng Revy Godforte para sa lakas na hindi umaayaw. At pagkok si Raffy Rivers. Swing back to action on the court. Second free throw para kay Pingris. 2 out of 2. At balikan lamang sa Pure Foods. 57-56 with 6.05 remaining in the third quarter. So it's a double point guard alignment here para sa Hinebra with Helter Brand and Artani on the court at the same time. Here's Artani, sends it over to Bakapagal. Nick, bagging body to Tigris. At ito, 7 seconds to shoot. Helter Brand will now operate. Helter Brand, you may want to see Kirby. Open shot, Artani. No. At ang Bob Beardford sa kabilang sani with 5 and 39 remaining in the third quarter. Here's James Young. Yeah, it will be hit. And what's the call? There's a foul downstairs. Dami ang mga foul na napupunta dito sa barangay Hinebra and uh, Beardford has the right mindset. Pero you, you guys are in penalty. I'm gonna go to the basket and check kung may foul nyo ako o hindi. Third personal laban kay Makapagal. Penalty na ang Hinebra mula nung kanina pa. And that will send former MVP James Yap to the line. And at the middle of that uh, picture, image, Mommy Chris, and sweet baby James. Daddy James, getting two out of two. Here's Artadi, and off Helterbrand. He never down by three. Bakapagal tries to tie the game. Rebound para kay Chingris. Ito na Peter Jones, Simon against three Richards. Simon, still thinking attack and then gives it up to Roger Yab. And here's Raimundo. Raimundo on the move. What a move by Kirby. Pero nagbintis. Elto Brown on the move. He never on the counter attack. Elto Brown over to Bakapagal. Bakapagal is blocked and the whistle is blown. 4 to court action, itong mga team na to, once you miss and you attack uh, and you miss a layup, automatically yung kabilang koponan will attack you on a fast break on the opposing end. So, patuloy pa rin, Miko, ang uh, poor free throw shooting itong Barangay Hinebra. 12 out of 27 from the line, only 45%. Alam mo, labing uh, limang mintis yun. If they made those free throws, eh, malamang eh, nasa kanila na ulit yung kalamangan. Instead, it's a two-point ball game in favor of Pure Foods. It's a little the leading scorer. Usual suspects para sa tender Juicy Giants. Uh, James Yap and Kirby Raimundo. And of course, BJ Simon was the uh, super sub on the floor. Sa Magdala, tatawagan ng offensive foul si uh, James Yap dahil tunay niyang inatrasan itong si Mark Makapagal na siya namang lumipad. So that's going to be number three on, uh, on James Yap. In the meantime, ba, nagkakainitan ha, itong si James Yap at uh, Mark Makapagal. It's going to be number four. You know, those are what, what are usually called cheap fouls because it's not... Oh, ang layo kasi sa sa play tapos masakit pa ah, hindi pa pwede pala ito si James Yap dito nursing four fouls here's Big Mama Billy Mamaril Eric Menkipin wala furious battle for the leather and there's uh, Simon Simon on the move hand off Roger Yap Roger Yap trying to brush Artadi aside 13 to shoot para sa Pure Foods on top by two points here's Yap hang time so he can probably post up any guard in the league. Except for Winnie Arbolet. <laughs> <laughs> he can try. He can try. <laughs> but I would not suggest. Okay, here's Elter Brand against Simon. Elter Brand on the board. Elter Brand. Alam mo kung ano naman yung lugi nitong si JJ Elter Brand sa post. Yun naman yung malaking kaalaman niya sa bilis. Two-point lead pa rin para sa Pure Food, 61-59, under four minutes to go in a physical third quarter. Yup, it's going to be a holding foul against Bakapagal. Oh, number 18, 
Well, this meet, this quarter meet is slowing down with a number of fouls that have gone both ways. Sabi nga natin sa simula ng quarter na to, yung mga referees eh, making sure na hindi na mangyari yung mga nakita natin nung uh, first quarter. Kung, uh, kung ngayon lang kayo nakapagbukas ng inyong TV sets, in the first half, a total of five technical fouls were given away as presents. <laughs> Uh, Swerte naman ang mga nakatanggap. Oo nga eh. Makasama pa doon yung dalawang coach. Ha? Coach John Wichico, Vinebra, and Coach Randy Gore. At saka may ano pa yun. Baka makatanggap pa sila sa commissioner's office. Ang dami naman nilang regalo. <laughs> Here's uh, Roger Yapa. No go. Three-point lead for Pure Foods. And here's Elter Brand. Meg, umatake. And he will miss. But he got this and miss. And he will score. Pagkakataon ito, yung si Meg, kaya si Muerte na rin na yung bola, bumalik sa kanyang kamay. Uh, Mark Pingris unable to contain the basketball. Uh, Eric Meg, he already has 15 to lead his team. James Yap, 4-3. Oh, Simon really skying hard to get that rebound. And so it under 3 minutes to go. Lawang pa rin ang Pure Foods by a precarious point. At yung bola naman ay uh, nasita pa nabas ng JJ Lampo. So, time out muna tayo rito with 2 and 48 remaining in the third quarter. It's just a one-point lead for Pure Food, 62. 61. the big dog but uh, Yapon on the right our uh, big boss ABC Sports Mr. Bobby Barrero on the left TBA Media Bureau Chief Willie Marshall you know that's in the memo did you read the memo Bureau. that's how you're supposed to say it <laughs> oh see pati si Mr. Rico Meneses uh, yung uh, head ng marketing ng PBA kasama ang aming uh, big boss as well this SGO Shena Olaso of ABC Sports and back to action on the court. Uh, the Empress kanina mula kay JJ Helterbrand. At it's inyo ng bagong TM. Discard the same 30 pesos lang. May bagong discard ka na. You know, you get a fine if you don't say it that way. Uh, you get a fine from Willie if you don't say it the way correctly. May regalo ka rin. May sulat ka. You get a word summon. Here's uh, Roger Yap posting up Paul Artadi and uh, really yeah, it's going to be a tough matchup para kay uh, Artadi. Oh, number 16, Paul Artadi, penalty, that's the second personal. At kanina pa nga na sa penalty ng oh, Inebra. So this will mean two free throws para kay Roger Yap. Uh, Sunday Salvation for Mark Pagpagal. Sunday Salvation coming in para kay Mark Pagpagal. Jariap has had stints with uh, 21 and he started his career with Pure Foods, won a championship before moving on to uh, what used to be Fed X. Now he's back to Pure Foods and the ball is with Artabi and here's Tubi. Tubi! Uh, Renundo with the rebound, three point lead for the Pure Foods. Here's Rob Sands. And now Renundo. A familiar matchup with Rivas. And here's Simon! And another assist dito kay Kirby Raimundo. He's gone to that move to beat Rafi Rivas to the basket. Pero ngayon, napansin niya, humihelp na yung mga Barangay Hinebra. Drop pass para kay P.J. Simon. Simon now with 13 points off the bench. Under two minutes remaining dito sa third quarter. And Artani will connect. Okay. Even surprising itong si PJ Simon because usually yung mga ganun eh at maaga yung shot clock hindi tinitira nito si Paul Artadi but we did mention the confidence is there para kay Artadi. That's going to be a foul against Artadi. Gusto niya agawad yung wala problema. Sinagdala niya itong si uh, Peter Jude Simon. Para sa Pure Foods ang ginagawa nila kung sino yung pinabantayan ni Paul Artadi eh pumaposte ka agad and they're gonna try to beat him at the block use the strength of their offensive guy against Paul Artani. Well, uh, manipis ang pangatawan ito si uh, Paul Artani. Uh, Simon makes the first free throw. John Van Salvador is back on the hard court para magpahinga muna si Kirby Raimundo. Fifteen points off the bench for Peter June Simon. At 
Malik Salimang about to the pure food, 68-63. Minute of 34 remaining in the fourth period. And here's Artati on the ball, bounce pass, he this will score. Uh, we did mention Paul Artati is having a great shooting uh, season. But his pass is not going His ability to pass is what really made him stay in the league. Yes, Sands. 12 to shoot for the pure food. Up by three. Salvador. And he will miss. Papi got a ball. Not one each other Salvador. But a steal by Tubit. Tubit over to Artani. Getting likely having trouble with the basketball. Salvador can pull the trigger. At the top, using one of the lang, kanilang atake. Good 15 on the shot clock. Here's Big Mama. Mama Ril. Still has the ball. And now Artani fakes. Artani lay up. Pajolets. No go. And Artani got his own miss. Sunday special. Pulakan. Bagsakan. And it's going to be a loose ball foul. Looks like against Artani. Number 16, Paul Artani. How many fouls did uh, Paul Artani get in this quarter? Sunod-sunod yung mga nakakuha niya mga fouls. And uh, like we said, in Ebra's in penalty, all those fouls have been turned into free throws. Meantime, Eric Meng, binalik ni head coach Jong Wichigo para palitan si Rafa Rivas. And then he, all, he will also send in the JJ Alto brand in a moment. Forty seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Lima, ang abante ng Pure Foods. That used to be a 19-point lead back in the first half. Here's Ben. Babalik lang sa ating laro. Pinasa kay Mamaril. Mamaril. Here's Artani with 10 to shoot. Mamaril muscling his way inside. And he will have a three-point play opportunity. That's a nice move para dito kay Billy Mamaril. Not panicking, really very, very patient at the post. Kita natin dito, pagkatas ng unang bangga, he already knew that he was right where he wanted to be, in the center of the paint. Easy jump hook, three-point play opportunity, but another miss mula kay Billy Mamaril sa free throw line. He's one out of five from the free throw line. Uh, problema na buong kapunan niya, na, ang free throw shooting para sa inyo. The three-point ball game with, uh, with just 11 seconds remaining bago matapos ang third quarter and Bingris will score on the jump hook. Talaga, Hinebra thinking that they could uh, lure itong uh, pure foot for a last shot. Shot was available, Bingris took it. Mamarel! Mamarel! That's a shot! Hinayang na hinayang ang Hinebra doon. Peter Chung, Simon, and the rest of the TJ Giants. The pa rin, 72. 67 against Inebra. Yan ang score at it's inyo ng San Miguel Beer, Mayal Wilson. Ang beer na walang katula. Talaga naman napakasaya ang Pasko dito sa PBM. Look who I found. Miss Chris Aquino. Chris, it's good to see you. Matagal ka namin hindi nakita dito but what a great way to spend Christmas. How did you guys spend Christmas last time? Actually, hindi masaya yung Christmas namin kagabi kasi we went, we went to the ER. Oh, okay. My mom got sick last night. Um, she had shortness of breath and high blood pressure. So we were in the ER of Medical City until about 2 in the morning. She was actually supposed to come. Dapat na whole family kami manunood. Since it's the first time na manunood si Baby Jane, who you can see is really sanay sa microphone. <laughs> so, we're really hoping and praying that she'll be healthy. And um, now that your Foods is number one, we're really praying na sana magtuloy-tuloy. And um, his dad has really been playing great. So, sana uh, maging MVP ulit. Alright, thank you. And it's good to see you. And uh, best wishes. Thank you very much for the Christmas gift. Hindi po namin sagot yung ano man germs meron yung aming ano sa mikropono. Just uh, well, all our prayers and best wishes to the former president Corazon Aquino, who, as Chris mentioned, is not feeling well. Alam ko naman nung 86 pinoto mo yun. But up sad to the left. But you know the former president is a big basketball fan. Isn't he? She is very much updated to what is happening in the in the PBA. And uh, you know, I, I believe both of us are big fans of hers as well, you know, for what she's done to the country. You know. 
So, uh, get well soon. Get well soon. Meantime, here's Salvation. And the ball is with Rob Sands as we begin action in the fourth uh, quarter. This is Sweet Baby James. I don't know what to play at the group. All right, here's uh, Sands on the right side. He sent it inside Big Grizz. And now Simon, Simon, he wants to go to Salvation. And then hammered by Mamaril. All right, kasama natin si Senor Domingo El Conquistador, Dominic Roy, who has a reported beer for us. During that last time out, Miko, uh, sinabi ni Coach Ryan Gregorio, alam naman natin kung saan pupotok itong uh, Barangay Hinebra sa loob. So we gotta make sure that we defend the post. Pero isa pang update, itong si Brandon Cablan suffered an MCL tear dun sa kanyang kaliwang tuhod, kaya hindi siya naglalaro itong uh, past couple of games. It actually happened a day before their game dun sa Bacolod City. Miko? So, hindi lang pala si uh, Mark Tagiwa ang uh, absent or injured sa larang ito, pati si Brandon Cablay. If you've been looking for Brandon Cablay, he will not play in today's ball game. He fan boy na nakihel to Brandon on the right side, and now he's Kubit. Kubit on the move. Kubit with the layout. Wow, Kubit! The Kubit got open in that possession dahil ito si uh, Roger Yap. Going for the steal, uh, the moment you go to the, for the steal, that close to the basket, layup talaga ang katumbas dyan, doon sa pinapantayan mo. Score natin 75-69, your food's on top, Salvador top of the key, and now over to Simon. Seven to shoot para sa pure food, and now they have to hurt it. Bola na kahit Simon, now siya nakikita dito. It's a three-pointer on the way, no goal. And here's Kubit over to Helper Brad, Helper Brad on the move. Helper Brad, no, Kubit, Kubit is good. So, wala man ang the fast and the furious, and then gentlemen, the fast and the furious. Uh, Ronald Kubit, uh, now he's a top scorer for his team, and the energy that he is bringing is there right now. They need the energy from Ronald Kubit sa quarter na to. Beck with an interception. Nebra down by four. And here's Elton Brad. 4 3. Rebound for Club and Salvador. Critical time for Fear Foods because at this point, wala si James Yap, wala rin si Kirby Raimundo at the same time sa floor. Here's Simone on the left side. Simone, 4 3. Rebound para kay Mamarin. Both teams are changing misses now. With 9 and 27 remaining in our Christmas Day showdown. Here's Mink. Against Pinkris. So Eric Mink will uh, cut down a uh, deficit to two points as we enter this timeout. Over nine minutes remaining here in a Christmas Day presentation of the PBA on ABC. Back inside the big dome, all close to 19,000 PBA fans and of Sisigsig at dito ngayon. Sama-sama nating uh, uh, salubamin uh, ang araw ng Pasko, of course PBA OIC, Sunny Barrios alongside uh, Ricky Santos from the Commissioner's Office. And his commissioner's role, Mr. Perry Martinez, uh, uh, head of our officiating. And here's our No Fear fearless move of the game. Brought to you by No Fear Underwear. Got the balls for it. Christmas ball. I saw a lot of uh, may malaking Christmas tree dyan sa labas. And uh, kanina, namimigay ka, ha? <laughs> Kita ko, may mga regalo kang pinamimigay. And balls din yung pinamimigay mo. Oh, chocolate, chocolate balls. balls. It's the season for giving. In fact, it's the only day of the year that I choose to give. <laughs> it's not a season. <laughs> it's actually to you, it's a couple of minutes of giving. <laughs> All right, here's stupid. Wala, mamaril, pumpas, mobra. And there's a loose ball foul. It will go against Pure Foods. Very personal up on the way Mundo. At uh, yan po ang kauna-una ang team foul laban sa Pure Foods. 
Adubul is back on the court para palitan si Jonathan Salvador. Bear in mind si Adubul uh, has four personal fouls. Chad is Rivas. Long tall Rafi Rivas outside sends a short help to Brown on the move. He goes right, he fires, and misses. Kahalat ng mga mintis sa parehong koponan sa ating fourth quarter. Field goal shooting for both teams slipping in this quarter. Obviously, this is not the quarter to start missing. Blue Foods holding on to a two-point advantage. And here's Raimundo. Once again, eyeball to eyeball with Rivas. And Rivas na ago ang bola. Helter Brown on the move. Helter Brown for two. And we're tied anew at 75. At yan ang ating ikaapat. Na deadlock sa larong ito. Matagal-tagal na. Nuhuli tayo nagkaroon ng deadlock. Miko was back all the way in the third quarter at 54 all. Meantime, here's James Yap. Oh! Just shooting over too big. Man with a million moves now has 19 points. Lamang naraman ang pure food. 77, 75. Too big. Gusto ba tumawi rito? Now double T. Rebus inside. Stretch. And too much muscle on the attempt. Ito na si Roger Yap. Roger Yap and Dov Raimundo! Mabitin yung kanyang layup. Takuha ng Hinebra dito. Too quick para dito kay Kobe Raimundo. Elton Brown! He was on a umbrella before going for the layup, fooling everybody. Wala ang tira ni James Yap. Nagawa ng bola. Raimundo no go. And it's a ferocious battle in the pit. And a double is fouled. And the basket is good. Napakasakit ng basket na yun para dito sa barangay Hinebra. Romela Dugol not giving up on that. Day. Actually, hindi lang si Romela Dugol. On one side, you have J.J. Helderbrad. Too quick with the rest of the Pure Food Center Juice Giants. Pero dito naman, ang mga malalaking mama ng Pure Foods. Just no quit in them. Pero hindi na kompleto niya Dugol ang 3-point play. Sa mga tweet, 2 points ang naman ng Pure Foods. 79. 77. Under 7 minutes remaining in the ball game. We will stop of the key. Looking for Kubi. Double team. There's Rivas with a shot. And he will take two. Hinayang na hinayang doon yung uh, mga gwardya nitong uh, Barangay Hinebra. Because that's the second time Rafi Rivas had an open lane to the basket. A layup. And the uh, second time also that he's missed. But uh, 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 si Adoko lang tinawagan ng foul. That's going to be his fifth personal. Dami oras pa natitira sa larong ito as Rivas makes his first free throw. Oras na para mag San Miguel Light. Alung lalo na dahil araw ng Pasko. San Miguel Light, mahabahabang kulitan, mahabahabang katuwaan, mahabahabang inuman. San Miguel Light. Two out of two para kayo. Rafi Rivas, he has nine markers in the ballgame. At tabla na naman tayo at 79. Here's Raimundo, top of the key. Kirby <laughs> Raimundo is just playing a complete ball game. Sa larong ito, kinuha niya naman dito, pangapot na foul to si Rafi Rivas. Again, here's that quick move. Koting bangga for that spin move. He is free. He's going for his 12th point, Miko. He already has 11 rebounds. He has 8 assists, too shy of a triple-double. And so Kirby pushes Pure Foods ahead, 82-79 with that three-point play. Alis na ang lahat din tayo dito sa fourth and final quarter. Mink playing outside. Mink goes cross court. Salvasol, seven to shoot. Again, bola na kay Heltobrand. Matik na bola. Heltobrand still has it. Mink inabot. Salvasol fires. Salvasol got his own miss. And got the under gold stab. Lucky break para sa Hinebra. Ang tindi ng pasensya ng Barangay Hinebra. Shooting it at just at the end of that shot clock. And they're not giving up on that play. Yung uh, tumitira, that is the you know, biggest threat when it comes to offensive rebound. That's why Sunday got offensive rebound. Roger, up for three. Yes, sir! And that will extend the lead to four points, 85-81. He still, impressed for Roger Yap. Still over five minutes, but at this point, it seems every shot is already a big shot. Then pull up. No goal. 
Well, now we'll go outside and it will, it will stay with Inebra. Bagong shot lang to para sa Inebra, pero gustong ayusin to ng mabuti. Ang coach John Uchi, laluin ng mabuti. With five and a half remaining in this crucial juncture of the pivotal fourth quarter. And we'll be back with more action for the Big Dom after these messages. Back inside, the big dog, and uh, Chris Amino with Sweet Baby James, still part of this mammoth crowd, unsure of uh, what will transpire in the remaining 5 minutes and 30 seconds of this ball game with the Pure Foods in Ginebra. Maligayang maligayang Pasko sa inyong lahat at hindi po yung nagagalak. Salo-salo nating, uh, salo-salo tayo nagsasaya uh, sa araw ng uh, Pasko. As we bring you our Buhay Coke shot brought to you by Coca-Cola. Lahat ng shots magaganda at walang katulad. Kaya ang Buhay Coke, buksan mo. Let's swing back to action on the court. Bola ng Ginebra coming off a Ginebra timeout. They're down by four. And Nick will muscle his way inside. At sabi nga ni Coach Jong Ichiko, gumaganda na yung laro ni Eric Meng. At itong araw na to, he has a double-double with his 17 points. Among the of Pure Foods, 85-83. Five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And Raimundo is unstoppable here in the fourth quarter. We did mention the line that he is having. Pero dagdag mo pa dyan yung ginagawa ni Kirby because the defense of Rafi Rivas, you know, top class when it comes to this league. Balik sa apat ang kailangan ng dulo ng Ginebra. Next, airball. Pero last touch against Abuko. Shot one, nine seconds. Nine seconds to shoot for Ginebra. Here's Elter Brand on the move. Salvacion. Yes, here. That's a Sunday special. We didn't mention all the shots seems to be big shots right now. Para sa Barangay Ginebra, that's a big shot because that came out of an extra possession. Barangay Ginebra having so many possessions in the support quarter compared to CFU. Salvacion now with 18 points. Here's Raymundo going around the world. Well, he's taking over sa pagkakata na ito, Miko. Lahat, all five players of Ginebra, sinusubukan niyang uh, yung kanilang depensa. So maybe tinawagan ng foul is more personal. And Kirby has been the man of the moment here para sa Pure Foods. Big Mama, Billy Mamaril, comes in para kay Rafi Rivas who has to be uh, exhausted trying to keep in step with Kirby Raimundo. Para kay Coach Jong Chico, he's looking for another guy that uh, can stop itong si uh, Kirby Raimundo. Kanina, si Rafi Rivas is somewhat successful. Here in the fourth quarter, though, ito, Kirby Raimundo wants to take over and maybe it's Coach Jong looking for another guy to stop him. Top shot para kay Nick. Pure Foods defense all over. Sabi nga ni kanina sa report ni Dominic that Barangay Ginebra is going to go to the post at bubusukin nila yung mga poste nila. That's exactly what they're doing here in the fourth quarter. Take it to consideration na foul trouble na itong malalaking mama ni Coach Juan Gregorio. We're back to a one-point ball game. Here Foods on top by just one precarious point, 89-88, under four minutes to go. In the game, ball na kay Adugul, hand off to Raimundo. Now it's Mamaril against Raimundo, and Raimundo will 
miss. Buckley will score. Lincoln absolutely battling hard to grab the leather. A jump ball between Romela Dugol and Eric Mink. That's the brand. Ah, oh, saves it to the red man. Okay, last touch on Mamaril. You know that's why you both save the base, uh, <laughs> the ball at the baseline. Mga ganong sitwasyon, maaari mangyari. Diretso yung bola kay James Yap. Libre, libre. Ginebra getting away with that one. So, 3 and 34 remaining uh, dito sa ating laro. Ang score natin, 89-88. Just a one-point lead para sa Pure Fruits. At nasa gitna tayo ng isang 30-second timeout. Pure Fruits going for win number 12. Trying to solidify their hold on first place. Ang Ginebra naman looking for win number 7. Ang kartada po nila 6 wins and 9 losses. Van Heusen is the shirt of choice for the power dressers. Van Heusen dresses up the modern man, endowed with distinction and a clear-cut sense of style. Van Heusen, best dress shirt. Team time! Ray the scores at you! Now check that! Oh, wait a minute, yes, it was Kirby Raimundo who scored that basket. Galing yun sa timeout, maganda yung paginawang set-up play nitong uh, coaching staff ng Pure Foods. Libre, libre, si Kirby Raimundo. Inebra down by three. Meng, no go, Adogo with the rebound, atake yung Pure Foods dito. And here's Pingris on the ball, Pingris, no! Helter Brand gets the basketball para sa Inebra, three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Helter Brand, it's a two! How fast can you go, JJ Hilferbrand? You just can't miss layups on this in this league. You miss a layup, the other team is going to beat you down the court and have a layup of themselves. Your foot's still on top by one. They go to the man of the moment. Derby Raimundo against Mamaril. Raimundo is blocked. And here's Hilferbrand. He will step on the brakes with four and a half remaining in the fourth and final quarter. In this mammoth pickball crowd on its feet. Ang bola ngayon na kay Meng and Salvasor thought about the three. Kobe takes a three. Mega Kobe hustling for the basketball. The mama sa pani Roger Yap will stay with Hinebra. And another possession para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Barangay Hinebra has had about six or seven more attempts in this quarter compared to Pure Foods. Hinebra going for the lead. They're down by one as we approach the last two minutes of the ball game. Bola na kay Elton Brad. Double team. And here's Kobe. Lots of time to shoot para sa Inebra. Tubit on the ball. Tubit for the lead. Yes, sir! Yeah. At nasa loob na tayo ng outlast two minutes. At it's sa inyo ng outlast maintenance re-batteries. Walang dagdagbawas sa tubig. We're going to enter this time out. Inebra, Lamang, 32-91. And JJ Helferbrand goes fast, really fast on this play. Going under the bridge, all the way home. Ginebra, top by one. We'll be back after this timeout. Oh, it's a 30 second timeout, so we're hanging on. And the top acting matchup, fast and furious, against the scoring apostles. Scoring apostles, Karina, ito yung magandang nagkaroon ng simula sa ating laro. And then they have outscored Helterbrand and Tubit, but in the fourth quarter where it has mattered, Elter Brown and Tubid has come up with a big shot and they now have the lead. So back to action on the court. Saktong sakto, two minutes remaining in this Christmas Day showdown. Pinkris has the basketball. Beautiful down by one. Bola na kay James Yap. The former MVP against Tubid. Yap. Fires. Block. And it's last touch on Beautiful. tayo, may palitan tayo ng tao dito. Uh, Mamaril sits down. And Eric Mink is back in the ball game. So the men on the hard court para sa Hinebra, it's too big. We just gave Hinebra the lead moments ago. Kasama si Helton Bland, Rivas, 
Artadi and Mick at the beginning of 30 second time out si Ginebra coach Jong Uichigo para pagplanuhan ng mabuti itong kanilang uh, susunod na ofensiba with a minute and 44 remaining so coming out this time out uh, in this time out you would expect coach Jong Uichigo to go to two bread and butter plays that they like to do coming off time out one is a screen roll at the top the other one is going to the post and obviously bumalik na si Eric Meng kasi yung ginagawa nila dito sa fourth quarter in time here's our FOR design play of the game, brought to you by a limited by Mark Echo. J.R. Aquino provided quality minutes back in the first half of play. And back to action on the court with a minute and 44 remaining in Dito Sating ball game. So, now we're going to go to the top of For uh, Pure Foods, on defense, they have Roger Yap, James Yap, Adogol, Raimundo, and Pingris. And he never tried to add to this one point lead. A slim one point lead. Ball in the high. Mink. Mink on the move. Mink. No. Mink. One more try. Uh, take a There's a foul against Ginebra. The Beer Foods are one of the best defensive teams. And they needed a defensive stop. Sa pagkakatao na yon. And they got it. And, you know, critical don. Ang importante don. Pagkatapos sila makuha yung defensive stop. They boxed out and they forced Eric Mack to give up on a, a, a loose ball foul. And now, your penalty situation on Ginebra comes into play. But it's Adoko who is on the line and he's one of one out of three tonight. They got one out of four. Now, Adogo can tie the ball game with a conversion here. Rebound by the Helter Brand. And here's Rivas. Some semblance of pressure provided by Pure Foods. Oh, here's Helter Brand. And Rivas says, yeah, hypothetic probably. We're on top by one with a minute and 19 to go in the ball game. Six to shoot para sa Ginebra. Heltobrand has the ball. Kupin, 4-3. Sinebra, Raimundo with the rebound. And that's going to mean free throws for Kirby Raimundo. Dalawang pagkakataon. Si Eric Mick nagbigay siya ng loose ball foul. And we did mention, penalty na nga. You're really giving a pure foods a chance to come back. Kasi hindi na sila nag-uubos ng oras. Nasa free throw line sila. Kanina they got away with it with the Ducol. I don't think Kirby Raimundo is capable of missing two at this point. You are absolutely correct. Has been, he has been the man of the moment. He is the second half. And ngayon, tinablar niya ang ating laro. 92 all with a minute and nine to go. And Raimundo gets beautiful the lead. 93-92. And we will enter the Sinebra timeout with one minute and nine seconds remaining. Ito yung... Uh, Sweet uh, layup for uh, the uh, JJ Helter Brand Kanina. The Helter Brand and the Gin Kings really hoping to give their fans a Christmas Day present. No, I'm going to go on Christmas Day, but they're down by one. Here's our Grand Matador Brandy blazing player. Yan po si Eric Meng. Nabit sa inyo ng Grand Matador Brandy. Tuloy ang init. 19 points so far for the former PBA MVP. But will it be enough? They are down by one. 19 seconds to shoot. Ball na kay Tubit. They want to go inside to Meng. Because the Google is in foul trouble. Helter Brandy to Salva Short for three. Yes, Sunday special! What a shot by Sunday Salvacion at the start of this coverage. Tinanong natin, masasalba niya pa kaya itong Barangay Hinebra? That's his answer right there, this three-point shot. When Hinebra needed a basket, they went to Salvacion to save the day. A Sunday special! And Salvacion now with 21 points in the ball game. Hinebra, top by two. Itong 
ating Christmas Day crowd of close to 19,000 fans enjoying every minute of this showdown ng dalawang kusunan na iisa ang hangarin. Ayan ay pasayahin yung kanilang mga libo-libong fans uh, na nandito sa loob ng Big Dome, nagsisiksigan, nagsisigawan, naghihiyawan, nagpapalakpakan, at ang usapan namin ni James Yap, dadali namin ang aming mga bagagandang may bahay. Ay, you know? Yun, marami. Ayan ang aking uh, ano, baby daughter. Okay, back to action on the court. Meantime, here's uh, Hector Brad with a steal and a foul is gone. Well, that possession just started the wrong way para dito sa Pure Foods and never got going. Halos hindi nila talaga mahawakan yung uh, bola kasi mula pa lang nung laro, nung uh, play na yun. So effectively, uh, narinig niyo po yung announcement, no? With under two minutes here in the final quarter, yung susunod na foul ng uh, Pure Foods, although technically wala pa sila sa penalty, it will send a Hinebra player to the line. The Pure Foods now required to make another stop to keep this a one-possession ball game. Hinebra up by two, but na kay Helter Brand, and he is going to find the best scoring opportunity here. Eight to shoot para sa Hinebra. And here's Swipe. Helter Brand has the ball. Aliyot leaves and he will miss! Middle of my fingers, and Pure Foods can tie the game with a basket here. They move the losers the ball. And I wasn't really sure why Raimundo was in, was in such a hurry. Exactly. We were looking at the shot clock. We were looking at the shot clock. As even worse, that is his sixth personal foul. We were looking at the shot clock when he got the rebound, Nico. There were 25 seconds remaining, so a lot of time to set up a play. As you can see right here, broken play ang nangyari doon, pero nagkaroon pa rin ang pagkakataon ng Barangay Hinebla. You look at the clock, if you notice it, 25 seconds, lots of guards around, but that's what happens when you have centers or power forwards bringing down the basketball. Yung mga mariliyat, nakakasundot sila kaagad. But you know, Kirby has to be one of the best ball handlers among the big men here. But they have so much time to use uh, in that possession. It seems like in the, you know, players have their, their own clocks in their heads. It seems that, uh, or automatic clock, it seems that to si Kirby, ang pakiramdam niya, paubos na yung oras at kina, kina, kinakailangan na na mag-attempt sila kagad. And so Tubid with a chance to make it a four-point ball game with 19 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. And you hear the roar. Unmistakably, mula sa barangay, big dog, and they might be 19 seconds away from celebrating a Christmas victory para sa Hinebra. PBA, yeah, si Magu Marjon, who claims to be nice, at si Bujing Akot, Magu claims to be naughty. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. Exactly. If you can write something like that, that means that you're naughty. <laughs> what a naughty thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas sa ating mga kaibigan sa Radio PBA. Over DCSR 918 kHz. And once again, uh, maligayang maligayang Pasko sa lahat ng mga kaibigan natin na nandito sa loob ng Big Dog at sa lahat ng nanonood sa kanilang mga tahanan together with their families and loved ones. So we wish all of you a very, very peaceful and prosperous Christmas. Oh, si Boss Danny, who's always prosperous. Amigo, basahin muna natin ang sitwasyon ngayon. Pure Foods doesn't have any more timeouts. They're down by four with 19 seconds to go. So ibig sabihin niya na malamang itong Pure Foods we have to go for a three-point shot early unless they're hoping na itong uh, Barangay Hinebra will still miss free throws on the other end. Two free throws at that. Here's that three-pointer on the way. Top chance. Kaya lang, eh, pinulak niya itong si uh, Rafi Rivas. Third personal para kay Sands. Kanya lang, penalty na po ang uh, Pure Foods. Because that is their second uh, foul, team foul, in, uh, with under two minutes to go. Ayat uh, tutumo sa free throw line si Rafi Rivas. Now remember, Hinebra had free throw shooting problems throughout this ball game. Oh! 
Back with it though, Ronald Kubit made two free throws to make it a two possession ball game. Rafi Rivas needs at least one. Now he got one out of two. Wala na pong timeouts on Pure Foods. 12 seconds to go. Simon nagmamadali. And here's Rob Sands for three. Yes sir, TM3. Hindi pa po sumusuko ang Pure Foods dito. And they will send men to the free throw line. Okay. We would have wanted to send Artadi to the line. Exactly. At uh, Barangay Hinebra got away with one. And Pure Foods knew that they missed an opportunity. Unang inbound ng bola. Diretso kay Artadi. If you had the choice in that lineup, you would probably choose Artadi or Rivas. Instead, si Mint ang kanilang uh, ipapadala sa free throw line. First free throw is good. May at uh, three point lead po ito para sa Hinebra, 99-96. And this might be the icing on the Christmas cake. Here's Pingris. Here for down by four. And Pingris. Oh, oh. 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 Wait a minute. Now this will make it a two-point ball game. And with his bonus free throw para kay Pingris, he can choose. Okay, he can choose to miss. And this is just a poor foul right there. No need. Will Pingris miss it? There's the miss. I don't know how to this. And that will do it. Ginebra wins on Christmas Day. Well, one of the problems for the Pure Foods, they wanted to miss. They wanted to get the rebound. Problema, Romel Aduco, Kirby Raimundo both fouled out. They did not have the rebounders needed even if Mark Pingris missed that basketball. Now it's going to be a Merry Merry Christmas para sa mga taga-barangay Big Dome. Nanalo Ginebra by 2, 198 over Pure Foods. And our final score, it's said in a San Miguel Beer, Bale Pilsen, a beer na walang katula. And now let's go to our Gatorade game turning point. Well, this was a big shot out of a broken play. Actually, this wasn't a broken play. Set up para dito kay Sunday Salvacion. Pure Foods wanting to make sure no one uh, no one gets it at the base. Leaving Sunday, Sunday delivers. Brought to you by Gatorade. Is it in you? Certainly was in Sunday Salvacion. Uh, Sunday Salvacion, 21 points and 8 rebounds. Second straight game na magandang nila ni Sunday Salvacion. He was the key dahil wala si Mark Kagiwa. Kailangan may pumutok sa wing and that guy was Sunday. Well, sa Bernes, eh, makita kita tayo ulit dito sa Big Dome for the last game day of the year 2007. We'll kick things off with a stick PBA followed by the game between Santa Lucia. The hottest team in the PBA now. Nakalabanin ng Wellcoat and then Magnolia meets Air 21 in the second game. Yan ang ating uh, final uh, doubleheader of the year 2007. So we thank you for joining us uh, dito sa Christmas Day presentation ng uh, PBA. Sa kala ng lahat ng buhubo ng ABC Sports at ng PBA. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas sa inyong lahat. Sa kala ni Dominic Uy, Richard Del Rosario, Benito Henson. Uh, Peter Sabere, my partner Jason Webb, and the hard working and creative and talented people of ABC5. Ako po si Miko Halili nagsasabing maligayang, maligayang Pasko. Nanalo po Alaska, laban sa Red Bull kanina, at ngayon lang tinalo ang Ginebra, ang Pure Foods. Maligayang Pasko, well out of Filipinas, this is the PBA on ABC.